Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can generate one document out of the Microsoft Word document template with dynamic values using Power Automate. So there could be many scenarios where we would be having predefined template for the word and we want to fill that with the dynamic values and just create the document within seconds. For example, in HR department, if you would like to create appointment letters, just replacing the appointment appointee's name and the other details because the template uh, has, has remains the same most of the time. And for example, HR wants to create experience letter, relieving letters for the employees. So it should be has to be created in just one click and the template should be filling out the dynamic value from your uh, data source, probably SharePoint list. So that example, we are going to take a look how we can build. So I will start uh, uh, showing you one of the list. It's relieving letters. So we are taking an example where HR would be just creating one entry into SharePoint list. And with the details of the employee, the date of joining, date of relieving, the first name, job title, and the document has to be created like this to whomsoever it may concern. So it's a format of relieving letter. It's a word template. And you can see like uh, the, the pretty standard uh, uh, wording is there. So we just need to pick the dynamic values. For example, this first name, last name and employed with us from date of joining till date of relieving and working as a job title. So these are dynamic values and uh, the template is straightforward. So whenever HR would require to generate the relieving letters, so it just need to be created one entry into SharePoint list and the document should be created and sent out to the respective employee. So we are going to do that in just few seconds of time. And now I'm going back to our list just to show you like what I have. So I have these job title, first name, last name, DOG and DOR fields. So this we are going to bind to our template. So now to start with, we have to create these bindings for this first name and last name and the DOJ and DOR all the dynamic fields and how to do that. So first of all, we have to enable the custom ribbon within your Microsoft Word. So you have to go to the file and you need to scroll down to the last and go to the option. So in this option, if you go to customize ribbon, this option, then in the extreme right pane, you would find there is a section called developer. So you have to check this if it's unchecked. So just check this option and click OK. So once you click OK, you will start seeing this developer, this top of our custom ribbon over there. And we have this AA and A, all these are the, the properties which we are going to bind with the with these tax fields. So for example, my if this first name is a dynamic value, I'll just double click select it. And then I will click on this AA that is plain tax content control. And that is AA, the first one is rich text one. So we would just use the plain one. So I'll just click on this. And you see like it binded is uh, binded that into a box structure. We have to now click on the properties so that we can define the properties for this box. And this is title and tag. So title, I'll just say first name and tag, just keep it the same thing. So what tag it should be displaying while doing the data binding and just click on OK. And the same thing which uh, we are going to do for all the dynamic fields, I'll just select, click on AA and properties and say last name. Again, the tag name I would specify as last name and show as bounding box. And for the DOJ, let's do that too. Date of joining, it's a plain content. Clicking on properties, giving a property as DOJ, DOJ and OK. And again, we'll do the same thing for DOR properties, DOR date of relieving and date of relieving. And now we are going to do that for job title. Quickly, let me do that. Job title. All right. So we are done. We have created this document template 
and now we are going to save it so that this document template can be used and we are going to drop this in one of our SharePoint document library so that we can pick this while creating our Power Automate which will fill out these dynamic values. So I'm just saving it and dropping that into our SharePoint document library. So let me drop that. I'm just going to the document library and we'll drag this my document to this. So now you can see I have just dropped this experience letter template into my document library. Now I'll just go back to my Power Automate. So let me just start creating our Power Automate so that we can just uh, have that documented, created and bind with dynamic values. So I'll start with Automate Cloud Flow. And when the trigger would be when an item is created, as I told you that we are going to create the item in our SharePoint list. So I'll just try to find my SharePoint list. It's huge navigation. Yep over here relieving letters so I'll just create my flow and under this I'll just bind the trigger to my side and pick up my name of the list that is relieving letters and as a next step we are going to find out word populate populate a word template so we are going to pick this populator word template and now you can see I have to specify the template which I am going to uh, use the location location would be my this SharePoint site so I'll just pick that my SharePoint site document library is my documents because I directly put that file under my documents and now I'll just go and find my file so you can see this exp letter template this was my template so i'll just pick that and now as a next step i'll be creating i'll be binding all these dynamic values because it's have it's it's generated those properties by itself now i'm going to bind that with the dynamic properties so job title so i'll just say title and last name would be last name and the date of joining would be date of joining from SharePoint list first name it's first name and the DO date of relieving DOR so now the mapping is done and we have picked up the dynamic values so next step would be we, we, we would be creating one file out of it so let me just do that as a new step we'll just create a file and that file could be in SharePoint, in OneDrive, anywhere like if you wish to want because anyways we are going to delete that after sending that PDF to the relieved, relieved employee. So I'll just create that file into OneDrive. So let's pick that OneDrive. And the path I'll just choose as root. And the file name, I can specify the file name as experience letter underscore first name so I'll just pick that from dynamic content underscore last name and now I'll specify the extension for this file so let's say it's docx and the content of file which we got from populator word template action the prior one so this will create a document file docx file in our OneDrive and as a next step because we want the documents to be converted into PDF so we'll just use one of the another action that is convert a file so you can see like it converts a file from one drive so i'll just pick that and i'll just choose a unique file identifier which we got created in the previous step so this id is the unique identifier and this will convert that file into pdf so till now we have use our template created file convert that file into PDF and as a next step we are going to send the email to employees so that the employee should get his or her relieving letter so I'm just going to for, for this sample I'm just going to use this sign an email and I'll just pick my email address so that I can just show you that so I would say in the relieving letter ABC company and in the body I'll just specify dear 
first name and I'll just attach here is your experience letter and in the show advanced you would find the option to have in file so I'll just say in the attachment one just pick that convert file name from for this attachment name one and in the content we'll just pick the converted file content so that the PDF can be sent out so now we have this an email as well done so I'll just save and we'll just do a one test run so we'll see like whether we where our file is getting created with a dynamic value or not so I'll just enter one of the entry in the SharePoint list so job title let's say enterprise architect and first name let's say I'm just getting relieved from my company so Christian Sharma's last name and date of joining I would say it was 14th November 2018 and date of relieving let's say 12th of June 2022 and I'll just save it and wait for our flow to trigger so let's see like if our flow has triggered or not so our flow ran and we'll just check everything should be passed so let's uh, let me log into my email so that I could see that whether I received an email or not so I received the email you can see dear Christian here is the experience letter and we'll just open that experience letter just to have a look so we have this is to confirm that my first name last name was employed with us from the state of joining till date of relieving at the time he was working as an enterprise architect so everything looks very much perfect and it's just done in a couple of seconds so it must have cut down like lot of work for the HR where they would be just maintaining their records and wherever they are maintaining that wherever the data source is we can bind this power automate to that data source and cut down the manual work of creating those letters so probably like this is one of the example so could be one could be like generic SOPs the project SOPs uh, containing the project name and the date schedules we can manage using the project management list and then have those SOPs created dynamically with these documents this uh, processing processing document so probably this is a valid scenario this could be helpful so if you do feel like it's a helpful video for you please do drop like and comment 